Hello, and welcome to Beering in Mind Beer Reviews. Uh, today we are going to return to a brewery that we've looked at before, uh, and this is Ise Kadoya, which is in uh, the uh, city of Ise in Mie Prefecture in western Japan. And we're going to take a look at a beer which is called Ise Kadoya Summer Beach IPA. And this is an IPA at 6%. Uh, it's been around for uh, a couple of years. They brought it out in, in the summer of uh, 2017, so about two and a half years or so. Uh, I guess it's been popular enough that they keep on making it. Um, and on Rate Beer, this one has 21 ratings. And the average score is 3.09, uh, and a percentile score of 40. Uh, for all beers on rate beer and a 70 percentile for the style which is IPA India pale ale uh, not terribly high scores on that um, I have had this before and I gave it a uh, uh, fair to middling rating of 3.0 uh, and uh, I'm going to have it again today uh, I picked this up uh, this summer in uh, in uh, a town near Issei in a uh, Eon liquor store. And so we'll uh, give this a go and see how it is. Isa Godoya has been around for a, a long time, uh, primarily as a uh, sake brewery uh, with a very long history there. And they uh, started uh, into craft beer in the uh, 90s. And uh, recently, in the last three, four years or so, they've really upped their game, uh, put out many different styles of beer and done a lot of experimentation. The uh, head of the beer division there at Isai Kadoya has a doctorate in microbiology uh, and specializes in yeast. And uh, uh, later, later in another video we'll look at a wild yeast beer that he made. Um, anyway, he's very highly regarded and has just uh, opened up a uh, home brewing association in Japan. So we'll see how that goes. In any case, shall we give Isakadoya Summer Beach IPA a try? Okay, so this pours out a kind of medium pale gold, rather hazy. Cannot see myself through it at all and carbonation a bit difficult to see it is quite hazy aroma rather zesty citrusy maybe some pine in there too something like buttered bread not toast exactly but buttered bread perhaps uh, and maybe the lightest bit of tropical fruit. Uh, from the aroma, it seems like it should be quite sweet. Let's try it. It does have stone fruit, uh, very light tropical fruit. Maybe uh, just a hint of uh, spice in there as well. The malt seems quite rich. From mid palate, we get a kind of grassiness and then a very slight sourness, and it fades out. Uh, yeah, uh, this is better than when I had it before, uh, for sure. Uh, somehow, I don't know, they've made it, cleaned it up a bit. Um, palate, this is thin, medium, edging towards medium. Uh, it is an IPA at 6%. Uh, you can kind of feel that 6% there. Uh, so it's very tasty initially. Uh, it tends to fade a little bit after mid-palate, but it's quite nice overall. Uh, I think I would give this a higher rating than I did before when I rated it um, perhaps around 3.4 or 3.5 or so. So again, this is Isai Kadoya Summer Beach IPA. Um, 
pick one up if you happen to see it. I think you might like it. Uh, and I think it probably would be really good on a beach in the summer. Perhaps you can find a nice beach in Issei to, uh, to uh, enjoy this beer at. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you would like to uh, hear more about Japanese beers uh, in particular. And uh, leave me a comment if you like. Okay? That's it. Bye-bye.